I'm using some modeling paste, metallic paint, transfers, and stamps in this art journal page. I'm using a brand new stamp, so I pull the plastic sheeting off, I pull the stamp off the backer, and then I'm using a thin mount. See the description for more information on that. I condition my stamps with a sanding block and then just wipe off the excess. I'm using IOD's new grass ink, a paper plate, and a brayer to ink up my stamp. You use a very small amount of ink, so it really goes a long way. Then I flip the stamp over and press gently but firmly. I don't want to smush the stamp and distort the design. Next I'm using the Stamperia modeling paste and a palette knife to add some texture to the page. I apply it thicker in some areas, thinner in others. I don't mind seeing the words coming through. Most of those will get covered up with paint and other embellishments. I love this paste because it dries so quickly, especially with a heat gun. I'm using Wise Owl's Heavy Metal Gilding Paint in Gold. With just a little bit of water and a brush, I apply a little paint to the surface, spritz it a bit with some water, and move it around. I did like it better actually without the water, so at the bottom I only used that and then I blot off with a shop towel. Once it dries the sheen is really reflective. This awesome old typewriter that was gifted to me needs some work but I'm so happy I get to utilize it in my art journal class. The theme of this month's art journal is 2023 goals. I want to create, learn, and grow even more this year. I'm using a tag and I want to embellish it with some leftover transfers that I have. So this is a discontinued transfer from IOD, but save all of your scraps for things like this. I also decided to add the Kindest Regards stamp with just a little bit of black ink. That is my go-to for a simple background. Transfers are so easy to use and make such a high impact quickly. They're much easier to apply to a slick surface, but on paper like this without paint, it's super easy as well. Remove the backer, apply it to your paper, and rub it on. Remove the carrier sheet, and that's it. I do burnish it in just a little bit, just to make sure that it's sticking. I'll do another transfer in a bit so you can see some more. I decide where I'd like to place my words, and then I glue it all down with tight bond quick and thick glue. It's my favorite and go-to for most projects. I wanted a little contrast between my tag and my paper, so I added some ink to the edges, just using the pad and rubbing it along the sides. I'm adding a little more of the gold paint used earlier. I like to apply it with my finger because I feel it's more organic and I have more control. The last element I'm adding is a butterfly from the entomology transfer. I'm applying it to a mixed media paper and simply rubbing it on. This is a close-up of how some of the transfer did not stick. You just put it back down and rub some more. I added it to the mixed media paper so that I could cut it out and create a 3D element. After gluing my tag down, I realized I didn't have any of the glue dots to use on my butterfly to make it raise, so I used a makeup sponge. I just cut a tiny bit off and glued both sides and then glued the butterfly to that. I didn't like the white string on the tag, so I added some of the gold metallic paint to that, and with a fine brush, I added some to the butterfly wings. That's it for this month's page. It's so reflective with the Wise Owl Heavy Metal Metallic Paints. I just love it. If you need supplies, you know where to get them. Have a wonderful new year, and go out and paint something fabulous.